So this morning staff are exposing shocking rundowns that took place in relation to what happened with Holly Willoughby guys. And the Daily Mail are reporting a very thorough rundown. Hey guys, it's Morocco Hopefully you guys are ordering well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate it. Click that button and subscribe to the channel. It is daily and consistent content every single day, 24 seven. And let's get straight into this video where we have a lot going on with the, you know, inwards and outwards, let's just say, of what happened with Holly leaving or quitting, you know, um, this morning, it seems that now the rundown is basically being exposed. Um, and obviously, it's very shocking. The editor of this morning, Martin Frizzle, found out that Holly was quitting the show just 20 minutes, guys, before she announced it publicly. Martin Frizzle was left blindsided by his star presenter's shock announcement, which caused some of the staff on the ITV show to also break down in tears as well. According to the Mail on Sunday, Holly turned to ITV's head of daytime output, Emma Gormley, over both the alleged plot against her as well as her feature on the show. In fact, despite Martin pinning his colours to Holly's mast during the fallout with Philip, a long-standing friend of Holly's as well, the television veteran only found out 20 minutes before the world did. The former GMT editor Martin had received an unexpected phone call shortly before 5pm on Tuesday in which he was told his greatest asset was about to quit. He had also learned that she had prepared an emotional statement in which she was about to reveal to the world. Martin, usually unflappable according to his colleagues, was actually very stunned. He had been assured Holly was going to stay on, especially because she just signed a new contract which saw her annual pay increase from 700k to around 1 million per year. Yet all of his devoted attention appeared to count for nothing. Despite Martin's loyalty to Holly, he wasn't in her inner sanctum when it really, really mattered. He sided with her throughout the difficulties with Philip Schofield and besides, it's his show. But instead, Holly went around him rather than to him, behind his back. Martin always spoke so highly of Holly. He adored her and she was extremely loyal. It's the talk of ITV that he was told so late on. It doesn't exactly seem very respectful. What a way to treat an editor. Meanwhile, Holly's announcement also caused a huge ruckus behind this, the show. People were on the verge of tears. People were extremely emotionally exhausted and upset upon hearing this news. They weren't upset because of Holly leaving, however, but it was the fact that it was the latest bit of drama to happen on the set of the daytime show and the fact that nobody had also told them as well. It's been one thing after another, as Saul said. It's like a soap opera, and that's okay if you're one of the highly paid stars like Holly getting chauffeured to work and back. But if you're grafting behind the scenes to keep things afloat, it's incredibly frustrating. Holly decides to leave. She puts it on Instagram. Imagine how that makes you feel, these sources have said. There were tears. The team had been through so much in the last year. Many feel they are at the end of their tethers. It has been heartbreaking and hard to watch it all happen. That word all refers to the seemingly endless controversies that have engulfed this morning in the past year. From the queue jumping incident to when the Queen was laying in the Westminster Hall and then, you know, the recent accusations of what Philip had gone through with a much younger male. Staff had also endured the pressure of being quizzed by external lawyer Jane Mulcahy KC about the alleged toxic working culture on the program brought on by the Philip Schofield, you know, scandal and everything that took place when it came to that. So it looks like, you know, people are now speaking out, coming out the woodworks. And I am not really surprised by this because I felt like the quitting um, or the statement or leaving, whatever Holly has decided to do, was very much a shock. But unbeknownst to us and now known to us that, you know, it was something that she had done last minute and had told nobody. And these people who work for this morning, who put on the show, who have been putting it on, were on the verge of tears, were tearing up, were crying, were getting emotional after this departure had taken place because of all the stress. They weren't crying because she was leaving. They weren't crying because they were going to miss her. They were crying because they were damn right disrespected throughout this entire situation even the editor as well. So the way Holly went around this, I don't think she should have gone around it like that because regardless of this kidnap plot, how much it stressed you out, I think that you should be able to tell people when you make such a significant, huge choice. But it looks like these allegations, again, of a toxic work culture are reoccurring once again because evidently the workers, the runners, they're now speaking out on private sources with shocking allegations of you know them being emotionally exhausted, crying, being fed to the wolves, not being told anything, being discarded. Yet again, they're speaking out because multiple articles are discussing this all in relation to Holly Willoughby. So I'm not surprised by this. That's the only thing that I'm going to say because it all just seemed odd. That's all. The kidnap plot, 
everything being, you know, the man charged, pictures of him came on everything, then she's left. It just seems all quick and odd. And so, of course, the runners, the workers are going to feel like, what the F's just happened in this past week and a half? How do we pick up all of this? Also, then her going behind Martin Frizzle's back can also be a choice because, you know, is that going to affect her future prospects on the platform? I doubt it. And I think that she will be fine. But again, to go around his back when he's been loyal towards you throughout the entire Philip Schofield scandal and drama, he continued to stay on your back and you were the main front runner of you know this morning you then had a salary upkeep as well so why would you go behind somebody's back um i obviously you know is there something going on there we don't know a lot of people were saying that you know perhaps she's decided to leave because more is going to come out about philip i don't know about that to be honest with you because it would have come out by now i feel i feel like everything that we know about philip Schofield has already come out i don't know what else could be hiding that could be so huge when it comes to philip that has yet to come out to be honest with you, I just don't know. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Subscribe. I would appreciate it. It's just one click, guys. Do subscribe to the channel. And, let's get sh and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.